Formula One now undergoing their review of things. Just tell us how excited you are. Tell us how far the project is along and, and what you're expecting. Well, very, very excited. You know, thank you to the FIA and the president of FIA for putting uh, the expression of interest out there. It was very vigorous. It was very tough things to go through for our team. And uh, I'm proud to say we came out on top in every category. And, uh, you know, we're very proud of that. So I think it's it's definite shows that we, we have the right to be here on the grid. And we're excited about that. We're also really excited about the fans support the fan support has been overwhelming and I want to thank everybody out there for all your support because that means means a lot and uh, so we are uh, uh, very excited about uh, the future we think uh, I think we think we have something really to offer to Formula One fans what is it that draws you in to the degree that it has that you've been adamant and pushing at this against such adversity really like it's been very hard to keep to get this through and to push for that 11th team what is it like what's the big draw you what? know we don't give up i never give up well, we never I know. give up any what is it about f1 it's hard you it's know, the top of hard. racing you know we're this has been our whole life we want to go out there and prove that we can race with the best in the world and be against the best in the world and uh you know that's why we're here who's going right. to do it for you Stay tuned. <laughs> Mario, you've been to the top of the tree. You know what it feels like. What do it mean uh, to you as a, as a legacy within this sport that you love so much? Well, at the beginning of my life, I was dreaming to be in Formula One, to be a driver. That's, that was really what I cared about. And I think, um, luckily, fortunately, I accomplished more than I could have even hoped. And um, now I'm looking to spend the rest of my life alongside of him so we could have, we come to the track, we'll have our own hospitality. I don't have to, you know, wait for somebody to invite me in. Come to our place, whatever <laughs> yes. you want. You know, so anyway, as you know, you know, motor racing has been our life at all. I'm so proud of Michael actually for his ambition, you know, to be in all the major disciplines and that's it. That's how we make a living, you know, this, uh, this has been it. You know, I've been feeding my family through motor racing from day one, him, and that's how we go, you know. So this is our life. So we want to be at the pinnacle, you know, Formula One is the Olympics of motorsports. And um, so that's where we want to be. Michael, how much inertia have you got? What does what and Team Andretti F1 look like, assuming you get an entry? And which year are you aiming at now to join up? Well, at the moment, we're still shooting for 25. Um, our car is actually going to be in the wind tunnel next week. So uh, we have a car already built up in 23 specs. So, you know, we're flat out. We're building a team. Um, so, you know, at the moment, it's 25. Could be 26, but we'll see. Can we talk about the facility? I think we've got some some imagery, whether uh, whether or not this is accurate or not. It did look a little bit, a little uh, bit like McLaren to me. It's going to be redesigned. It's going to be actually much nicer than that. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we we got to outdo Zach, so we're going to we're going to outdo Zach. So. <laughs> That's the goal, is it? Outdo oh, yeah, Zach. Absolutely. Right. Fair enough. Look, I, I just want to come back to a point that 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 Danica was making there. Can you understand though, um, fr from your side, from the, the team side of things, I don't know if you're watching our broadcast in, in Qatar, uh, about why there's been a, a slight bit of, of push pushback from some of the teams right now? I, I don't know, that's, that's it's a mystery to me in some ways, you know, why, why they're pushing back. You know, they say we're slicing the pie, but I think the point is, is hopefully we bring in more than what that that we're taking away and and we really believe that i think uh, if you look at the fan support and all on all the the surveys that have been done and things that uh, yeah we think that we're going to add to it not take away i want to get back to the drivers a little because this is the most common question is who would do it and people mm -hmm. ask me all the time like what american would do it so i know you're not going to say who that is even if you know so if you could just like list a group of them like who is the most interested what drivers have I know you would be. I had to ask well, you if you were still driving the two-seater. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Besides dad, um, well, obviously, we talked a lot about Colton. Right. And, uh, you know, Colton is definitely at the top of our list. Uh, but, you know, obviously, we have the points problem. So we have to see how he does in the IndyCar Championship to hopefully get enough points to get a super license. But then we've talked to a few others as well that, that do qualify. But, you know, the goal is to have at least one American in the car and then, then an experienced driver in the other car to help you know, mentor that. What other Americans? You only named one. I know. 
Okay, well, there you go, folks. There you though. go. Yeah, that's, that's, he, that's Michael, Michael promised me that <laughs> I will be drive. the first one to drive <laughs> on the track, oh. on a test track. Rookie. You know, it's a new one to me. I didn't know I promised that. He's doing it on air on purpose. So, no, yeah, no. so, <laughs> so it has to be quick. <laughs> that's Colton Herter you're talking about, of course, as a driver. So we saw Alpine said that your um, option has run out on their, we love to call them power units these days. Um, so which, which PU uh, are you aiming at at the moment? Well, I mean, yeah, technically the, the agreement went out, but you know, once we get our approval, then you know, that, that'll be fixed. So we're, we're, not, we're not worried about that. Okay, uh, with, with regards to the timings, um, fr from your perspective, you're, you're waiting for this review. The other thing that James Vowles was talking to us about fr from the team's perspective was that they were saying, look, it needs, it needs a stable Formula One. Everyone needs to be financially stable before another team comes in. He was talking also about there's only so many sponsors that can go around in here. And obviously, with a name like yours, perhaps some of the teams are, are worried about uh, not enough to go around. How do you counter that? I think that? there's plenty to go around. I think uh, if we can help even improve the popularity of uh, the U.S. from where it is today. I mean, I think uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of companies that are not in the series right now that have already contacted us that are quite interested that once we get the, uh, the approval that they want to talk to us. So, you know, I, I disagree with that. Okay, quick one, though, to, to you, Mario, just on the, the championship this year, what you've made of it and what you've made of Max's achievements. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Obviously, talent like that comes around once... Uh, in the generation, if you will, we all know that, and uh, he's made a difference in the team. And uh, and again, good for him. But it's great to see Lewis, you know, right there. I've seen some new energy in Lewis the last few races. Also, I love that move at the start, even though it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. But I just love that because he was really going for it. So that's what we have here. I mean, that uh, uh, you know, Lewis is not done by any means. So. And, and then we have uh, McLaren, you know, some of those yeah. youngsters there that uh, are actually, you know, showing that they're, they're annoying, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, and that's a beautiful thing as well. Top man. Thank you, Mario. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Michael. Thanks very much for coming out and talking.